Okay everybody, it's Nick broadcasting to you again on the Get Me Off Grid video blog. Uh, let's just start from the top. I'm including a link to a documentary below in the information box. And that's a very important documentary, what that guy has been trying to do in the United States of America. And what he's done in the third world and various disaster regions I want to do in a similar manner. Not necessarily the same manner, but a similar manner here in the UK. I'm also including an Amazon link, which you don't have to go to it, and it's not my Amazon link, I'm telling you that for nothing, okay? Just to show you that you can actually get water purification tablets, okay? Uh, 500 of them can purify 500 liters of water at a cost of about £10 after VAT. So essentially there's low-cost ways of getting drinking water. So, as I said before in the previous video, it is possible to use the water from, from a dehumidifier and then purify it and after you you know put the pills in it left it for a period of like 30 minutes uh, you could then possibly distill it make sure you're doubly safe pass it through a carbon filter an activated carbon filter or a charcoal filter depending upon you know what brand name or definitions they've got for them just to make sure you're you know nice and sure you could double distill it to make sure you're even more sure. I'm planning on doing an experiment myself based upon my funds, not the funds which I'm receiving as a direct result of doing this video blog, but my own funds so that we can see whether this will actually be viable. So I'm going to get myself a dehumidifier. Uh, in the coming weeks, obviously the first task is to get myself the solar panel constructed. So I'm still waiting for the broken solar panels to, to come through as well as uh, a few other things that I need to get the panels made. We'll see how that goes. Once I've started on the first panel and we got some headway there, then I'll go on to the next stage, which is to make sure I can do water purification. And yes, I'll be looking at inversion and different types of inversion as well. So this is all part of the project, bit by bit, stage by stage. But my point in mentioning all this water pur purification stuff is it is hypothetically possible for you to do without mains water, to do without river water, to do without stream water or oceanic water, and basically to make it from the air. And without having to spend 3750 pounds on one of these state-of-the-art beautifully designed good-looking air to water devices which is out there on the market okay I mean some of the cheaper ones I've seen have been 1,000 US dollars plus a few other concerns so it's outside of the reach of the average individual if you get my drift so finding cheaper solutions is viable you can do it I can do it we can all find a way but we have to be well researched one of the reasons I'm putting this um, this particular link to these uh, these water purification tablets your way is because I don't want someone to do something stupid and use a chemical which I may have mentioned in, in my video blog and basically got themselves terribly ill. So I'm trying to do things appropriately. There may be other ways in which you can do this or chlorinate the water yourself at home, but I don't want to go into that just in case you know, I say something incorrect here. I've got to be careful about what I say because there is, as, as I'm sure you can tell, a commercial aspect to this particular video blog. Namely, I've got the donation link below. So if you want to help me to do what that guy in America is doing, okay, here in the United Kingdom, where the weather is a little different, shall we say, namely we've got totally freezing winters. These days we've got totally scorching summers thanks to, one could say or one could argue, climate change. Uh, we also get... Oh, <laughs> We get droughts, we have to have hosepipe bands, there's got to be ways around all of this stuff. But everything I believe will start with energy and that's why the solar panel making has got to be the first step. So, wish me luck with that. Um, check out the documentary, it's absolutely brilliant. And I'll speak to you again very soon on the Get Me Off Grid video blog.